Brother Nate get out for prayer and ask you to meet with us today and just help me help this message to us people in just not pray. Amen. Amen. In Daniel chapter 6, verse 22, it says, My God has sent his, his angel and has shut the lion's mouths that they have not hurt me, for as much as before him innocent innocency was found in me, and also before thee, O king, have I done no hurt. I want to preach today on uh, when trouble comes against you. When trouble comes against you, remember to pray. Praying is the best asset that we have in our Christian life. It's the best Amen. offensive tool that we have. If you get in trouble, you pray to God and ask Him for guidance. Yeah. He'll help you. Amen. Daniel prayed in the Bible three days and nights. I didn't find whenever he was in the lion's den, he quit praying. So why should we quit praying whenever trouble comes against us? Yeah. Second point is when trouble comes against you, God will see you through. In Daniel 3, verse 25, he said, and uh, whenever they were thrown in the fiery furnace, he said, the king answered and said, Lo, I see four men loose, walking in the midst of the fire, and they have no hurt in the form of the uh, fourth is like the Son of God. When trouble comes against you, and you will know, you'll know that God will see you through. And you'll know when God's helping you. He won't leave you alone. He'll go through it with you. And uh, we hear preachers preach about it all the time. Just have faith. You have to have faith. Faith. Uh, this point is no good if you don't have faith. If you don't have faith, God will see you through it. He won't. But you have to have faith. If you have faith in the grain of a mustard seed, you can tell that not more. But you can move from there to there. And the last and final point is when trouble comes against you, remember the things that you've been taught. We heard it preached uh, Monday night by Joe Arthur. Talking about how will we continue as Christians. We continue in the things that we've been taught. Whenever you're in a classroom and you're taking a test, you're sitting there, the class is silent, but the teacher doesn't say anything because all that's on that test is stuff that you that they've taught you. Well, that all whenever you go through a trial in life, you go by the things that you've been through, what other people yeah. tell you, yeah. and you, yeah. you go by the things that the Bible says. Yeah. That's all I got.